हेलो गाइज सो फर्स्ट डे ऑफ लॉकडाउन हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड साउंड एट योर होम तो गाइज आई थॉट सो वी शुड मेक इट प्रोडक्टिव लाइक इफ वी आर एट होम फॉर नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी डेज सो वी कैन यूटिलाइज दिस टाइम ऑन योर स्पेशल थिंग्स लाइक इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ इनोवेटिव आइडिया यू कैन यूटिलाइज इट एंड यू कैन डिवलप दैट इनोवेशन you have if you have quality to write you can paint you can learn music you can watch uh, any kind of good things and you can share your ideas as well uh, guys uh, these 20 days these 20 days you can utilize in a different kind of things like uh, i have decided that i will uh, maintain the vow of silence for next 10 days and i will also start my vipassana meditation so i will be totally cut off from any kind of social media any kind of things i will not use any kind of pen paper i will not use any kind of gadgets music sound and i will not look at into anyone and even i will not look at into my face for next 10 days and i will not even talk to anyone for next 10 days so i will maintain uh, vow of silence uh, i will also practice meditation for 8 to 10 hours in a day and i will do exercise from uh, in the evening and morning so why i am uh, starting it because next year when the last year i had done my vipassana meditation so vipassana meditation is really one of the best technique to understand your patterns of thought your mind or mechanism of your thoughts and your body guys we don't understand uh, the first thing like we have so much of impurity in ourselves we have so much of uh, things in our mind which always goes on and you know uh, we never realize where we are at fault and we don't have such things uh, that makes us vulnerable you know we are very fragile as, as a human being uh, you can see that small cell uh, that small virus which which has come and it has spreaded throughout the world and now it is killing everyone so this is clear that we are so vulnerable as a human being as a cell we are, we are the smallest things but uh, and i will give you a best example the uh, buddha once said it is like 2500 years ago buddha said i blink my eyes and i see billions of kalapas so kalapa is a unit of energy 2500 years ago buddha said that the moment i blink my eyes i see billions of vibration in front of my eyes i see that a human a smallest cell that vibrate billions time in a second so today's latest string theory we said that every substance in this world in this nature that vibrates billion times 10 to the power 21 or something i don't uh, uh, remember the exact figure but uh, it vibrates billions time in a second so guys we need to understand that our body which has made up by billions of cells and each cell vibrate billions time in a microsecond so this is a great opportunity to understand how our body reacts so we have a lot of impurities like aggression lust desire fame lust for fame lust for sex anything so these things and we have hatred as well we have aversion so these things these these things are impurities if i have something in my heart i i always talk about someone that means i am at fault i have so much of impurity i don't have compassion in my heart so i have that opportunity you have that opportunity that you observe things why you are failed in your life why you are not successful in your life why i am so successful but i cannot hold that success in in my life why i don't have good relationship with people why people don't talk to me why people hate me why people love me these are all the reasons that i can find and i can found the root cause i can found the basic structure of my thoughts basic pattern of my thoughts and i 
can analyze it i can observe it and this is really a beautiful opportunity if you do so and so i am thinking that i will analyze i am thinking i am analyzing and i am giving this challenge if someone can do that so it is a really best thing to do in this quarantine time and uh, you need uh, you need not to do anything special you just need to observe yourself you need not to chant you need not to pray you need not to do anything special you just need to sit down and observe your breath for first 3 days 8 to 10 hours in a day so this uh, uh, this is called anapana so anapana is a basic structure of uh, uh, this is called shila also shila means uh, that you have the first foundation of uh, this uh, uh, vipassana meditation so for 3 days if you will sit down and you will just observe you will not do anything you will understand that you how fast your brain is functioning i used to think that i am a master of my brain but once i started i could not hold it for 30 second that is the beauty of this vipassana meditation so if i sit down for 30 second then i will start understanding that how my brain is actually functioning so if you sit down you will find your brain is in america your brain is uh, 10 years back when you were young you you are playing cricket and you could not bowl someone so this is the beauty of this vipassana meditation after 3 days of this anapana then you start doing the vipassana meditation you need not to hear any sound you need not to practice in a special pose like i am sitting here right now that means i can do vipassana meditation by sitting if i am walking i can do vipassana meditation by walking because vipassana means to be aware of yourself and look into Uh, yourself that you are walking if you are walking and you are aware that i am walking but it never happens if you are walking and you will realize that you are not actually walking because your brain is somewhere else so if you are running but you are not running because your brain is functioning and your ideas your thought or pat- patterns it is like totally different you think you never realize it so uh, you will have a opportunity to understand the pattern of your thoughts and the mechanism your body and mind so this is a great opportunity to every citizen of this country that if they practice this kind of meditation they start understanding yourself that definitely the 11th day you will have compassion in your heart you will have so much changes in your life you will see you will have some kind of charm in your face that when happiness in, is inside definitely that glow that charm in your face you will you will feel it by your face and another thing so after 3 days of this anapana then you start understanding so uh, i will uh, tell you one thing when you start this vipassana meditation especially this anapana technique so what you need to do you need to concentrate your brain only to your nostrils and you need to observe your breath because guys nothing is truth in this world nothing is absolute truth in this world and uh, 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 if you compare to anything sir so because it is impermanent that theory of impermanence says that nothing is permanent i am sitting here it is not permanent i am walking it is not permanent so only truth which exists in your body that you need to accept it that that is your breath you are alive until you are breathing so once your breath is stop you are not live anymore so you need to absorb this absolute truth that how you are breathing and you need to feel this breath that actually you are taking breath inside and you uh, uh, you are just uh, whether it is in any form like sometime you feel itching in at your nostrils sometime you feel it is hotter sometime you feel it is colder whatever it is just observe so first 3 days for at least 30 hours you need to observe your breath nothing else 8 to 10 hours in a day 30 hours at at least 30 hours uh, you need to observe your breath the first days it will be very difficult to you to maintain this uh, um, uh, uh, equilibrium because your body and mind will be totally a different uh, entity when you uh, come to this vipassana meditation another thing guys after 3 days when uh, you have um, mastered this uh, anapana technique so after 3 days you will see that it is totally now you, you can understand that you have 
uh, that much strength that you can hold your uh, mind for at one minute or one and a half minute that there will be no thoughts in your mind when you are uh, meditating after third day so you need to start this vipassana meditation then you need to roll your bra- uh, brain in different part of your body like if i put my brain here in this finger so i could have that much strength that i can feel this finger yes it exists so i will start my brain from my head and putting my brain everywhere in my body i will put my brain every part of my body in outside body so you will start feeling different kind of sensation you will actually feel that your brain is moving you will feel that yes my body is part exists so where every everywhere every part of your body you will put your brain everywhere from toe to head from back to chest and every organ of your body so when you start it you will realize that exactly that this is really unique and you will start feeling some kind of sensation when you feel you will have some kind of goosebumps also so you may, that goosebumps indicated those impurities and Uh, uh, those powers and those uh, sensations if you don't have any sensation that means that you have so much of impurities that you cannot sense your body so you need to apply your brain and it will happen your brain will run away you will have brain here in your arms and, and within a second it will move away but after 5 uh, second 10 second you realize oh my brain is somewhere else then you uh, push your brain back and you just bring it to your arm you start it again continue repeatedly you do this exercise until or unless you find that you have strength that you can hold your brain back so for next 7 days you will have this practice continuously until you find sensation everywhere so these kind of sensation it will you will find that you have that much of strength that you can observe your sadness you can observe your pain you can observe your happiness you can actually observe all the things as it is if happiness is in front of you you will feel that this is happiness exactly and this is how my body is reacting to this happiness and this is how my body is reacting to this sadness i'm not saying that you're going to be monk after that i'm not saying you're going to be anything after that but you will be in your best shape you will be in your best equanimous mind you will be in the equanimity and you will be in equilibrium so you will be not so happy in happiness you will be not so sad in sadness you will be not so uh, like you will be in equilibrium you will not have hatred for anyone you will not have a, a different kind of love for anyone you will have love no more or no less you will have uh, you will enjoy the pain you will enjoy the sadness and you will enjoy your success you will enjoy your hard work you will enjoy your work and you will have that smile on your face and which indicates that you have attain the peace in your heart so guys this is a great opportunity if you want to do if you want to practice a, you, a lot of things are in, available on internet there is a website lot of website in internet that dhamma.org organization lot of literature also available on internet you can go through if you feel that you want to you want to Uh, learn this technique then definitely you should learn and i believe i promise that this will be the best thing you have ever achieve in your life success is per, uh, success is not permanent and success doesn't mean that you have become an is officer ips officer or you have become prime minister of country success means that you have peace in your heart that you have attained peace that is the ultimate goal of life and if you have attained that peace that means you are a very successful person so are you are you happy in your life are you a successful person in your life so if you feel you are happy in your life just start this anapana technique for half an hour and you will realize that are you really happy or not so thank you very much guys so this is my um, video this video i have made this video for you as as public as audience if you like it definitely pass it on if you don't like it it, it is all right i don't have any problem with that i am happy with it thank you guys thank you very much and be safe be at home and do anything whatever you like it doesn't mean that you start meditating or you do exercise or you can write some kind of poetry you can write some kind of literature you can do painting you can do work also thank you guys i wish you 
all the very best i wish you luck i will wish you health may universe brings a lot of strength that we can fight together in this situations and we can uh, eradicate this virus from this from the planet thank you very much guys have a great day